Hi guys, in this video we will talk about how to be a freelance graphic designer in India. Now we will go over what is graphics designing, types of graphic designing that you can take up, what are the tools and skills that you may require, a small case study of a student in my online course that is the profit plan and how you can start off and a few things that you should do as a freelance graphic designer, how much you can earn as a freelance graphic designer. So stay tuned till the end because you're going to love this video and there is just so much value in this video. Yeah. So if you haven't already guys, please do hit the red icon below and subscribe to our channel. We create videos on working from home and making money online each and every week and you definitely don't want to miss them out. Yeah. Let's get started. So the first one is what is graphics designing? Now, graphics designing is all about choosing colors, symbols, or um, design to communicate a brand's vision to their audience. Now, you will basically be responsible for creating a visual identity for the brand. See, uh, there is no business, small or big, online or offline, that does not have a visual communication, either in the form of um, logos, websites, business cards, promotional material, or social media like. Pinterest, Instagram, etc. So this makes graphic designing one of the most sought after jobs and one of the most sought after jobs today. So um, now let's talk about the type of graphic designing. So first one is the visual graphics designer. Now by that, I mean you are responsible to create design across uh, visual platforms like Instagram or Pinterest. Okay. Or for websites, which would include something like logos or uh, featured image for the blogs, etc. Now, this is the perfect uh, niche for a graphics designer who has no idea about graphic designing as of now and want to take up graphics designing as a freelance service. Okay, so this is something that you can do on Canva. The second one is marketing and advertising graphics designer. This includes uh, things like infographics, banners or uh, images for websites and blogs. The third one is user interface graphics designer who is basically responsible for creating designs for websites, apps, games, etc. Now, these guys work closely with user experience and uh, UI developers to build uh, graphic designs. Fourth one is you can be a freelance publication graphics designer. That means that you'll be working closely with editors and publish publishers to create uh, layouts using photos, graphics and illustrations. Now, uh, your job could be to create newsletter designs, magazines, newspaper images, catalogs, etc. The next one, that is the fifth one, is freelance packaging graphics designer who is mostly responsible to create concepts and uh, uh, develop mock-ups for a product. Now, you will most likely acquire, need to acquire an understanding of industrial design and manufacturing so if you're interested in this space of graphics designing, then you may need to invest a little bit more and learn industrial design, at least the basics of it. Now, the sixth one is freelance motion graphics designer. Your job most likely includes animated logos, trailers, uh, promotional videos, video games, GIFs, etc. Now, the next one is freelance environmental graphic designers, and that could include something like public wall mural, museum exhibitions and office branding the eighth one is to become an illustrator now illustrator is a little bit different than graphics designer but you will be included in designing t-shirts patterns or textile graphics novels album arts infographics etc so this is the kind of work you'll be doing now these are the various kinds of traffic designing that you can offer as a freelance graphics designer now let's talk about skills and tools you might need to learn. Now it's great to have a college degree in designing, but it is definitely not necessary for freelancing. You can make use of platforms like Coursera, Udemy, Skillshare, YouTube and other free course platforms to learn graphics designing skills and master them slowly as you grow as a freelancer. The next step are the tools that you may need. Now if you want to be a basic graphics designer like I told, talked about initially, you can start with Canva. Now uh, there is this my student Deepika who has no graphics designing skills at all but she decided to learn Canva in and out through using free tutorials 
on Skillshare on YouTube and now she offers social media graphics designing to online businesses. Now her audience is basically a group of people who don't need expert designing services in Adobe for example. All they need are basic graphics for their social media platforms like Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook and someone who can create beautiful and color coordinated designs. Now while she isn't a graphics designing expert, she can definitely offer these services because she's great at creating graphics on Canva. She can definitely offer these services and help people who need her level of skill set, right? So you don't need to know everything about everything to start out freelancing and make money. All you need to know are the basics and then you can always upskill yourself constantly and then you find a target audience who require your skill set. So for example, while you're offering Canva designing services, you can simultaneously learn designing tools as well like Adobe. A few other tools that you can probably uh, think about learning are Quark and InDesign. But keep upskilling yourself. Now let's talk about how you can start as a freelance graphics designer in India. Now your first step is to find a niche. We have already discussed eight different types of graphic designing services that you can offer. So what I want you to do is to pick up one of them and start learning and offering it to your clients. So decide what you want to offer and to whom you want to offer. Now your second step is to start promoting your services on social media or other platforms that you're willing to use where your clients are generally hanging out. Now at the same time, you should also work on building a mock portfolio or a portfolio with live examples which can impress a client almost instantly. You can either build a website from scratch for this purpose or there are several other websites uh, which will help you create an impressive portfolio like Canva. Okay. Now your third step is to ensure that you get paid and you have a client onboarding process. Now that means that you have clarity on how you want to get paid, when you want to get paid, if there is any extra cost for rework or add-ons or having clarity on what are the next steps for your client, how are you going to send them the deliverables, etc. So there is an entire process that you need to be clear on. The next step is to do extensive networking. Now add networking to your calendar because that's one of the only things that can get your clients on autopilot. So attend offline events or start networking on Facebook groups, Instagram, etc. to find clients. Now this is an ongoing step because networking is obviously the key to finding clients, collaborations and a lot of opportunities as a freelance graphics designer or as a freelancer in general. Now your fourth step is to constantly keep learning and upskilling yourself as a graphics designer. So you can invest in courses to learn, let's say Photoshop or Adobe Suite and get their subscription. Now it may seem expensive at first, but what I want you to understand is it's an investment in your business. It's an investment in yourself. The more skills you have, the better you get paid as a freelancer. So let me tell you an example. So I have paid 200 to 300 rupees a page for Canva designing, but I have paid 12,000 rupees for seven pages designed on Adobe Suite. That makes it 1600 rupees for each page. On average, you can make 50,000 INR and more a month as a freelance graphic designer if you're in India. If you have international clients, you can easily make more than one lakh in a month and it's in my opinion, not a very big deal if you can back clients from US, UK, etc. And you're obviously good at your work. So keep upskilling yourself as a freelancer. Now, this is all about how to be a freelance graphics designer in India. Now, if you want to start freelancing, have no idea about it and want to start right, I would advise you to check out my flagship program, The Profit Plan. My flagship online course, which is carefully curated for aspiring entrepreneurs like you, and making entire online business easy. Now, not only does it teach you um, everything about how to start freelancing and how to get started, that is the foundation. It comes with live engagement and support, weekly coaching calls with me, a private Facebook group, and so much more. Now you can check the link in the description box below or reach out to me directly via DM on Instagram at Mrs. Daku Academy. Now, if you're interested, if you want to get the ball rolling, and get your uh, online business up and running and make profits, then do consider this once. That is it for today, guys, on how to start as a freelance graphics designer in India. 
You can see two more videos on the screen on how to start working from home. So your next step would be to check them out and I will see you next week guys. Bye-bye.